A lot of you seem to really like the video I made where I explained how I met my friends through YouTube and it gave me an idea. What happened to all those people that I used to be friends with that I've not spoken to in, in years now? Where are they? Have they quit? Are they thriving? Have they moved on to bigger and better things? I want to find out. So the first person I want to start with today is the first chronologically. I met this person back in 2014 and they are Cornish Games Night. These days they mainly stream on Twitch, like literally daily, but I've not really spoken to them much at all. I've hopped in a few streams, unfortunately that's it, but I'm curious to see what their channel's looking like. And I see a familiar cuck down there from Cuckold Simulator, a game I played a couple times on the channel. So we're gonna check out and see what our good friend thinks. It's kind of funny because we used to review indie games to, like, at the same time. That's how we knew each other and we're, we're making games on the, on the same indie games seven years later. Nothing changes. Life is a cycle. Oh. <laughs> I love these, these high hopes going into it. God, that's so loud. Let's, let's, let's do this. Okay, the audio is just going to be very loud. Oh, what is that? It's your boy Cuckold! What is that face? It's Cuckold! It's a fucking leaf! <laughs> it's got no chin! <laughs> alright, alright. I feel that's the same joke I made. Oh my, what is that fucking chin on it? <laughs> it's obsessed with no, the chin. No, not... I know, alright, you know what, right? I it's think he has a crush. Random. <laughs> Rest in peace, Tyrone Jr. This is from an ass asset. This is from an asset from one of the uh, the jam things. This. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is just not right. <laughs> uh, okay, it, it, I think it's safe to say <laughs> he, he's doing well. He, he's thriving. Unfortunately, it does look like, sadly, his dog passed away really recently, so if you have some spare time, head over to the channel, or even better, his Twitch, and, and just spread some positivity. He's a, he's a good guy, and he's always been really kind and supportive, so, so head over. Like I say, he streams every day, and he's definitely not a cuck. <laughs> Next up, we're going to head to the person that I've spoken to most recently, which is Ross's Reality, previously known as TS Gaming HD, later to Sorty, and now... Ross. He popped into one of my streams last year when I was streaming every day and we got back in contact for a little bit, just messaged a, a little bit. He's not uploaded now for a year again unfortunately. He came back and then he, he's he gone again which is, which is unfortunate but you know I want to have a look at, at the video he did when he came back which was shaving his head which I have also done and you know, th there's nothing wrong with being bold. Being bold can be a look. It, it can also not be a look, but it, but it can be a look. Oh my god. I thought it looked short before. I was like, oh, it's not that short. Look how, oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's a look. I'm sorry, I, I don't know. I, people in, in houses with fences that low. What, like, what's that? Do you just get used to it, not care, just, I can't imagine. I feel like I don't have privacy and I've got the seven foot fences. And that old Ross is just very, very tall. That looks like a really good razor as well. Like, genuinely. That's a solid razor. I could use that for my, for my, my chest hair. Looking, well, it's better than KSI. <laughs> his mum's yeah. gonna see his bald head. If you want to see his mum's reaction, you're gonna have to go to his video. So I'm I'm not gonna be one of those people that just shows the the big the big twist. And also, I don't I'm I've just sat here watching a, a man shave his head. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, it's a shame. He, I I liked that he came back. It's a shame he he's gone again. Ross, buddy, if you're watching this, I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're you're happy, and I, I hope you're you're bold. Cause boldness is. I forgot to have my funny juice this morning. Next on the list, we have the biggest channel here. OK Multiplay. OK used to comment on every single one of my videos back in 2015, 2016. 
They were super supportive and we actually got introduced to each other through Ross who you just saw because we were both got shouted out in the in the same video that he made which is it's, it's very weird and 42k 12.1 million views and they also disappeared until very recently you know eight months ago don't message me eight months ago they stopped till four months ago but they came back for two videos and then they came back again two weeks later so I'm kind of curious about because they were doing really good. They were on around 600 subs when I was on 300 subs. And, you know, of course, I, I left for a few years, four years or so. And in that time, they just skyrocketed. I'm, I'm so proud of them. This channel is just two girls playing together like, all the time. It's a joint channel. And they just play zombies pretty much all the time. And it's pretty much very funny. The editing, I remember, being amazing. So let's have a look where they've been for the last year probably where most of us have been to be honest being sad right, i'm just gonna take this to the top of here i feel like this is my destiny i'm just gonna solve this okay so this was recorded in march Literally. that's four oh months God. ago Bye. <laughs> Fortnite. So, i don't know what's going on i've never played Okay, okay, it's it's just them. Um, it's just them playing Fortnite. It's not it's not explaining. I uh, don't hate it because it's short. Like it because it's here. Fair enough. Fair enough. You don't owe anyone any explanations. Wait, have they still got the same outro song? All these years later. See me with chicken sticks. As long as they're all okay, that's absolutely fine with me. As long as they're all right. So we've had one person that's still active, one person that has not uploaded for a year, and one channel that has been on and off for the past year. So we've had like a yes, no, and a maybe. We've got three more channels to look at. Let's do this. Here we have Roll the Dice, a typical funny moments channel. This is what I was surrounded with back in 2015. CSGO, Gary's Mod, Minecraft, funny moments. I added... I, I think I only did one or two videos with, with Roddy Dice, but he always seemed chill. Never had any issues with him. And he stopped uploading three years ago, but he did say he had a new channel. Now I'm curious, you know, he had 2.2k. Why did he quit? Let's find out. And is his new channel popping? Is this new channel Tommy in it? Is Roddy Dice Tommy in it? I don't think so. I think he's older than me. He's probably going on 40. Let's have a look at the new channel. Oh my, oh my god, buddy! Oh my gosh! That's incredible! Well done! <laughs> well done! Oh my god! 237k! I thought, you know, leaving... 2k behind, you know, a lot of people decide they want a fresh start just so they can have that feeling of starting up again. No, uh, in this case, this is why you do not judge a book by its cover. Oh my gosh. But he's not uploaded in two months. He might be working on something big. And he didn't just ditch everyone. He still has on his feature channel Crazy Wolf, who I know collabed, I collabed with Crazy Wolf as well and collabed with Roddy Dice a lot. That's really nice to hear. It's nice to see someone you know blow up. But it's so much nicer to see them blow up and still pay homage to people that you know they were friends with before because they were friends. It doesn't matter what your, your your clout is or whatever. Let's see what the last video is. It's Sea of Idiots. So it's a Sea of Thieves funny moments. And I have a fucking guitarist. Oh yeah, guitar. Is this a guitar? What I've never this? played this game. This is not a guitar. <laughs> where, where are you at? So I don't know what's going on. What's this? <laughs> I just ate a worm. <laughs> you just puked at me. <laughs> you puked at me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy! Very good. Pig, oh, pig chest. Oh. <laughs> pig chest. It's so oh, stupid. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's not people trying to be too funny. It's not. Like, it's, it's over edited, but in a good way. It's not. 
it's not edited with a subtitle person breathing. That's something that really personally irks me when I watch some of these Minecraft videos. Now, they're subtitled, which is cool. I like the coming back of subtitles in funny moments. You don't need to subtitle someone sneezing. You don't need to subtitle someone laughing with what it sounds like. You can just, I don't know, it, it's a personal thing. I just think you should subtitle when something is being said, when something is being added. You don't need to subtitle someone coughing. We know they're coughing. We have our ears. And if you don't have ears, you don't need to know they're coughing. Oh my, I'm sorry, it irks me. It is what it is. This is this is not, and that's only forty-seven seconds. That's the great thing about this other editor stuff. That felt like five minutes worth. It's beautiful stuff. Yes, I'm gonna be doing some binging. That's amazing. I am so proud of someone that I like was acquainted with, but oh. oh, I'm so happy. Oh, that makes me feel so whole. Don't give up on, on what you want. Okay, after that now, we're gonna have a look at the person that got me into Sony Vegas. You know, I wanted to use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos uh, before it was a big thing, before people really used it. And I was told that that's too hard to, to get, just get Sony Vegas. And he helped me get Sony Vegas and got me into editing and that is Otter with a knife that he uh, left when I was active, so like 2016 I think he left, but he's had a few comeback videos every now and then and deleted all the ones in the past. But I wonder how, how he's doing. Is he, is he doing all right? Uh, we're gonna watch his video about 2020. Oh, he looks so old, year of mass. in a good way. I think he's like a year older than me or something, which, which makes sense, but he was just a, he was just but a boy. A year of doing nothing at home. A year that makes you think that raiding mommy's medicine cabinet and downing every single pill bottle you can find sounds like a pretty good idea. You know, Nor- Are you, are you okay? But fuck 2020, it's been a shit year and I don't need to tell you that. You know it yourself, everybody knows it by now. However, 2020 has been pretty fun for Twitch. Oh. A lot of people in quarantine decide to check out some live streamers. Oh. And I've noticed that myself. Oh. I want to thank every single person that joined the live stream this year. I also want to thank everybody that stuck around during this whole ordeal. He's All gone to Twitch as well. Aside, I put together some clips from this year's live streams, and I hope you guys enjoy my 2020. Oh, that's. I love you guys. I love that. I, I was worried at first because I thought he was feeling like super down, like he's <laughs> recent subscriber, the kinky lord. <laughs> but he's headed over to Twitch and he, he's, he's doing well and he's doing the thing where you've had a bad year, here's some good moments and that's what I really tried to do at the end of last year as well and every year. Let's check out his Twitch, what's, what's going on on Twitch? 500 followers, yes, go on, get another one. He last streamed three months ago, but that doesn't mean it's the end. You know, he last uploaded five months ago, so you never know. They, he could he could absolutely come back at any point. What about what about his Twitter? Okay, he's still out on Twitter. You know, maybe go show him some love on Twitch if you fancy it. You know, he's he's not active right now, but give him a reason to be active. You know, I I don't know what's going on. Yeah. If, he, if he's needed a break or if he's got a new job or if he's going through a rough time, but if, yeah, if you're feeling kind, any of these people in the video, just give them a kind word because they've all been kind to me in the, in the past. The final person I want to look at today is Richie the Killer. Richie commented on every single one of my videos for like a hundred videos, I want to say, at the same time as OK Multiplay, all the time. It was incredible and again, five years ago, four years ago, disappeared and then came back. I did a face reveal, wow, wow. And then a year ago, uh, he's been uploading every few months. Good stuff. I had an entire playthrough of The Last of Us Part Two. I will be watching that slowly because I want to watch a new playthrough of it. I think the best video to watch of Richie's is gonna be the uh, 
the where have I been, the comeback video, just to kind of see where whereabouts, you know, what's been popping on. Because I care about these people. They've been supporting to me. If I can just, you know, maybe try and give a bit back and hope it's not too late. Uh, hey, and look at the top of the comments, so Ross. <laughs> Did we all come back at the same time? Did we all come back at the start of lockdown? Because that's amazing. Ross did, I did, Richie did. Yo, COVID sucked. But it's also been one of the best things ever. Neville came back. Lukey started coming back. You know, it's, ah. Uh, Boyar started. No matter how shitty something is, there's always gonna be something good. You just have to know where to look. It's quarantine, so you know what? Yo. Hey man, say man, what you know man, it's your boy Richard the Killer. You're not gonna be seeing my face that often. I just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all for a second. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. That's my fault. But at the same time, life does happen. Exactly. But we grow up. I'm back. What's good? Y'all well, started as teenagers. Now we have bills and, and tax and I don't even know how tax works, but I pay it. Tax is hard. Why has it got an X in it? You have X-ray and xylophone, they're all rare words, and then you have tax and fax and racks. I want racks of money. Is there another type of racks? I got some videos on the way for y'all. Stay tuned. That's Enjoy nice. this video, tell your friends to subscribe. Subscribe to Richie the Killer. I randomly stream on Twitch, but that's probably a late at night. He's, he's on Twitch too, is he still on Twitch at all? Have a look, is Richie on Twitch? It doesn't look like it. But you know what? I see Ross in the comment here. Tell you what, if if you're somehow watching this, you know, Richie and Ross and anyone else I've looked at in the video, if you want to come and do something, let's do something for old time's sake, you know. We could get other people I've not mentioned, like Disconnected or or Sidey or C B or Ash, Ellis, Metro, Wolf, anyone. This has made me feel so nostalgic, and I'm, I've never been so proud of people that I, I don't really know. The person I probably know the best is probably Ross. Then it probably goes to Richie Cornish Games, Nice and Otter. And then probably Dice and OK, you know? Despite that, they've all been supportive in different ways, you know? Ross, he's my buddy, and he gave me a shout out, and he even came to my streams last year after years. Richie and OK commented on every single video, and watched, watched every single video, which was amazing. Dice watched some of my videos, and even though I was such a much smaller channel than him, I think he had one and a half K going on 2K, and I had 200, 300 subscribers. He still wanted me to be in a video. Cordish Games Nights, you know. Again, I joined the community, and he was there, and he, he welcomed me as well. And Otto, like I said, he's the one that got me into using Sony Vegas, you know. That's why my editing style is my editing style. So many people, so many more than this. I had a list of about 20 people. I had I had to narrow it down to just a few, or this video would be two hours long. But I feel like you know, it's it's really nice to just see people that, that have succeeded. You know, all, all those people we've looked at today, it doesn't look like any of them after six or seven or eight years have quit. Sure, some of them are slowed down, some of them are inconsistent, some of them are smashing it, but they keep coming back. They keep standing up and they keep trying. And I, I sound like a broken record, but I am so proud of, of, of them. And if it was just six people and they gained a couple hundred subscribers in the last few years like me, it's like, you know, okay, you keep, you keep on trying. It's good. You know, that's enough. But the fact is that there's two of them, one that shot up to 40k, one that shot up to a quarter of a million. Like, that just shows that if you don't give up, that's two out of the six I've selected, right? If I selected six people that hadn't posted since 2015, do you know how many of them would have blown up? Zero. Because they gave up. And these six didn't give up. And that's a 33% success chance of hitting your dreams because they didn't give up. That's insane. I was worried about this video. I wasn't sure if it would be good or not, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm happy for it. I'm so, oh, it's made me feel so warm. 
I could talk about this and how I feel warm for, for days. I'm going to stop. I'm hungry. And I think Sidemen Sunday has come out. So, so thank you. And uh, can we hear that music one more time? Oh, it, it stopped. Why are they kissing? Stop kissing.